tool and anticipate if it's going to pop if I blow up the hinge as soon as it's going to drop okay no problem you had a great body position right but if it were me I'd just be standing here watching okay hinge is working okay I'm getting close to the inner it's going to pop now I'm going to put my hand on there does that make sense okay so case in point right we're attacking what right now what are we going after what's our objective okay, so we're after the hinge. Did, did we expose that hinge yes. not only yes but fuck, fuck yes. yes okay in doing such, I just wanted to show you that we're all the way up here by the hinge. What did we do to the pin though? Which is probably what we go for the first time. <laughs> You're about a third of the way from this thing just popping right off right now, right? So in one move, I've gained all the purchase points I need, okay? And this works even on a wide window like my van or Gary's truck, okay, with those wide windows. I'm just going to go to the front and I'm going to do it there and I'm still going to expose my pin and I can come in and either pop it off or cut it. Make sense? Okay, go ahead and take that out. Let's get, go, get after it. Good job, good job. 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 Let's go. You got a tool in your hand. He steps out. What do you need to do? Right. What are you going to do? Another way. Take your left hand off the tool. Thank you. You can anticipate that, right? Right, cutting was fine, you know that, right? I do the same thing, drop it vertically. Okay, if you weren't, let's say you weren't cutting through and it was rolling into here, what could you do? Right. Or take your cutter and come out from this angle. Don't be afraid to ask for help. We're so fucking macho, right? And especially in extrication, it's like, I've got the tool. Don't, I'm not afraid to ask for help. There's plenty of times, we've been yarding tools for too long. My back, I don't need to do it, and he does it every day. Even at work, I'm not too proud to be like, I'll come over here and I'll set it in and I'll be like, hey dude, help me. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> I'm gonna I'm kind of in an awkward position, right? Okay. Hey, go ahead and run the tool so you operate it and I hold it. Okay? Excellent job. So now what do we need to do? Get the other hand. Okay, get some D love. How are we gonna spread that? Okay, all right, all right, perfect. Yes. Thank you, D love. You did exactly what I thought you would. Okay? Nothing wrong with where you put that tool, correct? There's, not, there's nothing wrong with it, right? That was good. Why are you going to go in here and try to grab this little fucking tiny fucking piece that you're up against shit metal and you only have a little bit of bite? Because why? Because that's what we've always done, right? We want to look for the big V. What do you have right here? You got a backing bolt from a hinge. You got all this structure on the A post, right? This is where you can come in and you can even come from this angle, right? And drop your tool in here and just displace it down and out. So I want you guys just to see what we're looking at. You could do it that way. You're probably not going to get this. You probably have to do multiples. Grab the big, look for the big structure. These cars and these tools are so strong, you don't have to be right on top of your objective anymore. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. You got 32 inches of spread with that tool. 
That tool is the best tool. That is my favorite right there. Unless I had the old Transformer 44. Those are my favorite. keep spreading it doesn't matter okay i just want you to be able to see what you did was right your tool placement was good okay it just wants to do that cars are going to do that but you got the bigger structure you see how much more throw you got out of that yeah now you could even yeah spread it. if that's being used somewhere else yeah go down deep with the cutter if they're standing there and you think hey man i already spread twice drop the cutter on there and you're going to get ready to do what spread on those that now you can just do what be ready to pop this off the pin right okay good go ahead go back Good. Come back well. Right, look guys, the, the key in this, like with the cutters, don't cut on the bolt, don't tip load your cutters, right? Because they'll separate and invert. What we, but with the spreaders is, instead of looking, right? If you're not on a date, we're not looking for the super tight spot, okay? We're looking, we want the V. I'm looking for structure. I'm looking for that area where I've got a lot of structure. Now that might be, that might be a little narrow or it might be that big V that I need to get on there and blow it up, okay? But, Just like that, you're out. Oh, God, that was too quick. Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Again, good. You're doing fine. Is that going to be the most efficient way to gain the space? No, it's not probably good. Peel, just peel from Okay. There. This is what I'm, right? Nothing wrong with what you're going to do, but are you really getting structure, of the, the inner structure of the door? No. No, because the inner structure of the door is actually inside holding there so what else can we do i'm not trying to coerce you into always doing the vertical lift the end up, but i'm just telling you okay no okay no problem where you're at but now now we've got the room the objective, right? be on top of that objective tight on there and then run it All right. Guys, again, not trying to like stop and knife it on each other's movement, but we also want you to see the difference in the movement. That's the one we're seeing. Okay, we're Effective to what you would have done. Wait. Okay. That's, just, that's just, you know, 